Welcome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to edit audio so that it will pan from left to the right. And we will use the music software Audacity for this. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Audacity open. And Audacity is a free to use digital audio workstation. And so you can edit just about any audio you would like to within Audacity. So let's go ahead and import our audio that we want to work with so that we can pan from left to right. And again, so we go to File, Import, Audio. And then I'm going to pick a track here. And once I pick it, I just press open. And then when it opens, I'm going to go ahead and delete some of it. So we don't need this large file. So just select that, go up to edit, and then delete. So again, panning is where the audio will have an effect where it goes from like the left speaker to the right speaker. And you may have encountered this in music you've listened to, where some sound will go from the left to the right or the right to the left. And you can do this really smoothly in Audacity. So we've got our audio file here. And most likely, if you have your audio file in Audacity, it's showing up like this, like a stereo audio file. And so what we need to do first is create actually two separate tracks. So this is one track in stereo. Um, it might be a little confusing at first, but what we need to do is make two mono tracks. And so the easiest way to do that with our file is to go to this drop down right here, the arrow, and then find where it says split stereo to mono. And so now what it did is actually created two separate tracks here. So that's how you would split a stereo track into two mono tracks so you can work this correctly. Let's say you had one track like this and you wanted to create this effect. What you need to do is you need to duplicate that into another track. So the easiest way to do that is to have the whole track selected. So I click right here to select the whole track and then go up to tracks and then click on mix and then we'll go mix and render to a new track. So that'll just duplicate that track. So you have two mono tracks going here. Okay, so once you have this set up, then you can create the panning effect. So the easiest way to get started is to look for the pan option here. And so you can see I've got pan, and so right now it's panned in the center. So this track, I'm gonna have it panned to the left. So when you move it all the way over to the left, that means this track is gonna be coming 100% out of the left speaker. And then the other track, I'm gonna wanna pan it all the way to the right. So again, this track is 100% to the left, this track is 100% to the right. So then the next effect you're gonna wanna to add to this is to go up to the envelope tool. So I have it right here in the middle, so I'm gonna click on that. And so now what you can do with this is then shape the sound so that it starts loud in one ear and then uh, goes soft in that ear. So what I'm going to do is click a couple spots in this track. And once I've clicked a couple places, you can see it's just kind of like changing the track a bit. Um, I'm going to do the same thing with this one, click a couple places here. Okay, so we have uh, those places and you want to try to line those up as best you can. So right now I'm going to go ahead and start with the left track. So that's going to be the loudest. And then I'm going to have it get softer so that by the end of the track, it's very, very soft. So I'm going to make this a little smoother. And again, you can play with this if you want to do more points on this to make it even smoother. Like, let's say I want to do that, make it even smoother. That looks pretty smooth. Okay, and so now that track starts loud and then goes to soft. And then let's say this track, I want it to start soft and then get to loud. So let's go ahead and drag that so that it's very soft. And then this part, I'm going to drag to loud. Okay, so that's looking pretty good to me. I actually think this should probably stay a little louder, a little longer, but let's go ahead and play it. And if you're listening with headphones, you'll be able to hear how it goes from left to right. Uh, but if you're listening with just one speaker, you won't be able to hear this, so. Okay, so you can hear it slowly getting from left to right. So that wasn't as fast of a, an effect as I wanted it to be. So now let's try this one. Okay, so that should have worked for you. And again, the main trick is to make these two mono tracks uh, so that you can go from left to right. And then you can keep changing this. So let's say I want to go back uh, to soft with this track. I can do that. And then I can go back to that track. So you can keep going back and forth. Now, as you're working on this, one way to find out what it sounds like is to mute each track so you can tell exactly how well it's uh, getting softer or getting louder. So let's say I wanted to make sure this is really smooth. I can mute this track here and now that one's soloed. And so when I listen to this, I can play this and I'll only hear the one track and you'll hear exactly how smooth it is going for one ear. I've also seen people who say that they go up to the uh, effects tab and that they say they'll use the tremolo. And I wasn't able to get this to work. So if you know how to get this to work, uh, please put it in the comment section below. So they would use this tremolo function and one of the tracks they would put at a, a zero degree and then the other 
one, they would do it 180. But I think there are a couple other settings you need to change uh, to make that work correctly. So again, that might be another option for you to use the Tremolo. And when you're finished with your file and you feel good with it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click out of that. You can go ahead up to File, Export, and then you can export it as a WAV or, or an MP3. Either one will work. So you now know how to edit your audio and pan from left to right or right to left in Audacity. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. So this channel is dedicated to those who are looking to up their music production game. We help you create high quality, monetizable music that you can then post and share with others. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.